Hey, what is going on? It is your boy Sauce Robert, and I'm learning a few things today. All right, I'm reading the Noma Guide of Fermentation. I want to learn how to make vinegar. All right, and I learned a couple of things. For this particular vinegar, it's peri vinegar. You need uh, four kilograms of sweet ripe pears and one pack of liquid yeast, right? The Sasson uh, yeast, because if you use bread yeast, the, the end product comes out too bready. The process of uh, making something into vinegar is uh, the process of fermentation, right? It's, uh, it's converting uh, sugars into alcohol, and then that alcohol turns into vinegar. And they got me thinking, if it's just turning sugars into alcohol and then into acid, and sugar is a carb, you can pretty much make alcohol out of a lot of stuff. So you can use uh, grape, you can use uh, any kind of fruits, uh, you can use bread, you can use rice. And according to this, it'll ferment about 10 days and then turn to alcohol. That's crazy. It's giving me a lot of ideas of uh, what to make. But it does say I need a couple of things. Uh, before reading this, I didn't know what an air stone was. The last time I heard an air stone uh, was in RuneScape, and that helps you use uh, wind attacks, right? But it says you need an air pump and an air stone, and that helps with the process. But I'll tell you what, I'm definitely going to be trying this out, All right? Check it out. First, you start by blending, and you add your yeast. Okay, you let that bad boy ferment. Okay, and then you squeeze out all the uses, right? Get them juices squeezed up out of there. And then you add the air stone and the air pump. The air pump and the air stone, I said you can get any place that sells fish tanks. I guess it's a, it's a bubbler, right? And then you ferment it for 10 to 14 days. And then you got your stuff. So I'm definitely going to be trying this out. That's it.